Hello there, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name's Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button somewhere. And um, at the end of the video, if you can press the thumbs up and give it a like, share with your friends. So I'm doing a three part series on how to grow pomegranates here in the UK and the challenges that go with that. So part one, I'll be looking at uh, how to grow pomegranate from seed and a little bit of background on the pomegranate itself, you know, its health benefits. And part two, I will be talking to you about a plant unboxing. I'll, I'll be doing a plant unboxing and discussing um, the flowering and fruiting aspects and the benefits of having more than one plant and the third video will be about overwintering and it is really important to to watch that video because to grow uh, pomegranate here in the UK you really got to know what's what kind of conditions you need to overwinter your plants in so we'll get first to what is a pomegranate? So this is a pomegranate fruit. I got this from the supermarket. I've not grown that. <laughs> and it's quite a big size. And if I cover the top of that, you might think that, that that was a cricket ball. So it's got big leathery, thick leathery skin there. You can't eat the skin, but the edible part is inside. And here is where all the seeds are. It has lots and lots of seeds. And the seeds are, well, the outer part of the seed looks like a little ruby, looks like little red gems. I'll pull one out and show you. There it is. And you can see the seed inside there. The outer part is called the aral, the edible part. And when you remove that, the seed, I'll just see if I can extract the seed. There's a seed, quite a big seed. Now in some cultures in India, they don't throw the seeds away. They use the seeds as a spice. So um, I'm not quite sure what kind of benefits the seeds have, but I do know I've seen these uh, for sale in uh, Indian grocers in packets. So in, in India, they call it dalim. That's the, um, the word for pomegranate there. The Latin name for pomegranate is Punica granatum, which I think roughly translate as a, a kind of a seedy apple, although the Romans may have thought it looked like an apple. It does have some similarities as it being round and red, but it's not related to the apple at all. So there are certain uh, health benefits to eating pomegranate it's got um, vitamin C vitamin K it's got folate potassium and calcium and the health benefits from consuming this there have been studies to show that it's high in uh, polyphenols and antioxidants and you may have heard that antioxidants are found in things like green tea and red wine how they're beneficial to, for people who've got heart disease uh, and, and it's an anti-inflammatory as well um, so if you've got an, a, an inflammatory disease something like osteoarthritis or rheumatism heart disease inflammation of the heart this fruit is very good for that you can have this in the form of juice so if you're consuming a couple of juice, you know, um, cups of this or, you know, several times a week, then that may benefit you if you suffer from those diseases. That doesn't mean to say chuck out your medicines, you know, you can have the two, you know, the complementary. Um, so there have been links to this. Uh, also, there are studies being done at the moment to see if it's helpful in preventing breast cancer or, or treating breast cancer and prostate cancer but those are studies that are ongoing that you know, there's nothing proven yet but they are looking into it. 
So where did this originate from? They, it's saying, well, Wikipedia says, let's see if I can put up something on Wikipedia here, that originated in places like uh, Northern India, Himalayas, Iran, um, Afghanistan. That's where they originally found the pomegranate to be growing. And then it soon spread across the globe. Travellers took it from, from its original place and took it to the Mediterranean, where it's widely grown in the Mediterranean. Spanish explorers took it to the Americas and it's widely grown in the United States and in South America. And there are lots and lots of cultivars. I think they say there's about 500 different cultivars of pomegranate today. So, can we grow pomegranate from seed here in the UK? Well, I've actually tried back in 2015 and successfully grew um, a little tree, a little pomegranate tree. And I'll talk to you about that, what happened to that tree in the third video regarding overwintering. But if you wanted to try and grow your own pomegranate from seed, all you need to do is take the seed. I would choose to do this during the summer, not in the winter months, even though if you've got heat lamps and you've got, you know, propagators, it's better to do it in the summer because A, your seed will be fresh so you harvest it, don't leave the seed out for too long, maybe let it dry out for a day and then take, you know, take advantage of the long summer days that we have here in the UK. Because when winter rolls round, it will be a lot shorter and these plants will go dormant in the winter. So you want to give it the seedlings a chance to Get, get to a decent size before they go dormant in winter. So what I've done here, I've already planted some of these uh, pomegranate seeds in here. And this is just plain coir compost, sterile, not added any feed or nutrients in there, just watered it and putting a lid on to keep it, keep the humidity in there, little ventilation hole just to stop any fungus from growing and put it on a sunny windowsill. You don't need to put give it too much heat and I reckon in about a couple of weeks time we should see little little seedlings popping up and I will do an update on that then. So once you've got your, your seedling popped up you probably in a few months say if, if they're coming up now then that's August, September, October, November. So around about November, you probably just get about four months growing out of them. Probably reach about this size here. And it just look, looks like a little twig. There's a tiny little root on there. When it's reached that size, it's not going to start giving you another growth spurt. It will slow down and eventually you'll see the leaves will fall off. So don't panic and say, oh, my plant's died, I need to water it or do it. Do nothing, just leave it, let it go dormant and keep the pot moist, but don't let it dry out. But don't let it be soaking wet. You don't need to keep topping it up with water because it will be in a dormant phase. Just leave it be. And then that's for the first growing season. You want to keep it indoors and I will talk to you about overwintering in part three um, as to what to do with it after that. So that's it really. Um, so a little bit of background there on the origins of the pomegranate, why it's beneficial to eat it and can you actually grow it. So I hope I've covered those topics there. Please keep an eye out for part two where I'll be doing the plant unboxing and talk to you about the flowering and fruiting aspects of, of different varieties of pomegranates and then following that I'll be doing the third video on overwintering. So thank you for watching. Please take care. Thank you. Bye bye.